relieved to say that over these past few days, Kate has continued to improve her coordination, balance, and movements. From suddenly losing all use of her hindquarters and her right front side in the wee hours of last Sunday morning, she now is able to get up from a laying position and make it outside to at least relieve herself. She is even feeling frisky enough to want to play tug of war or fetch with me. Though she still wobbles, when she walks, her left rear leg, which has been lagging behind in recovery as if it had a charley horse cramp, is coming along and she is controlling it more naturally, helping her to stabilize her entire hind quarters. I'm looking forward to her being back to her old, normal, playful, active self again in the next week or two. This happened so unexpectedly and suddenly to Kate, as if in the blink of my eye, that I needed to look into this affliction and find out more about this disease. I'd like to share what I found with all my viewers who have pets that travel with them, since this disease can attack any breed of any size of a dog of 12 years or older. Canine idiopathic vestibular disease is acute or immediate and will happen all of a sudden without any warning. It displays symptoms that may mimic serious life-threatening conditions such as an inner ear affection, a stroke, a brain tumor, or a seizure. It is important to get your dog to a vet as soon as you can. The good news, though, is that the veterinarians say it is fairly common and disappears within a few days to two weeks after the occurrence. But, if there are no improving signs after the first 72 hours, it could be something more serious and you should certainly return to your vet for a checkup. The idiopathic part of the disease name refers to the fact that veterinarians just can't identify the source of this balance issue suddenly caused by this disease. Sure, there's lots of theories, but just like humans with vertigo, veterinarians really don't know the cause of this disease. Luckily, dogs with this affliction can be treated at home with rest and medications from the vet for vertigo and nausea. Still, the few dogs that do not recover fully from this onset are left with their heads tilted to the right. Though Kate does not have the head tilt from this, I worry if she will be left with a slight head tilt, or it will be fine. It is hard to tell with this playful silly girl, still trying to protect me from her sister who also wants my attention. I am so thankful. I was not on the road traveling when this happened to her. It would have been a very stressful time for us all. Seems like each of us have our own medical issues at our old age. Sarah with her hyperthyroidism, Kate with her vestibular disease, and me with my cancer. What a sorry lot we are, but we all refuse to stop living and just become whiny, sad victims of life. As long as we have our strength of will, we will forge ahead determined to make the most out of the time left to each of us. Thank you for watching. We hope this information will arm you with knowledge to understand if this sudden disease attacks a pet you love in the future. Till we meet again, the girls and I wish you happy trails and woof woof.